Hold on. Is this? No. This isn't mold, is it? What? I've seen countless ads on all of these products that I bought today, and we need to know, are they actually worth buying? And sometimes they are, and you're just like, this, this, this is amazing. I can see why everyone's talking about it. And sometimes you're like, Maybe this isn't for me. So I bought all of these products and we're gonna test them out and see what the deal is. But let's start with finishing my makeup. Starting with a product that's a spin off of a cult classic product. This is something that everyone's been using like all summer long for the last, I, get, I don't even know how long. We've all heard of Drunk Elephants to Bronzy Drops. We've seen a thousand different dupes. Actually, I should try some of those. The Bronzy Drops are great. I love them. And so they recently launched their Be Goldy Drops. Just cute, just another plain words. De bronzy be goldy. Ooh, say that five times fast. De bronzy be goldy, de bronzy de go No, can't do it. These are used the same way as the de bronzy drops. So you put a drop into your serum, your cream, whatever it is, or you can use it on top as sort of like a highlight, little touch here and there. And it's just gonna add this beautiful illumination without looking really glittery or sparkly, which I love, love that. Listen, there is a time for sparkle and it, for me, it's not my everyday. It also has 5% niacinamide in it, which is good for your skin as well. And I also love that you can cocktail this too with the de bronzy drops if you wanted to and just do like a whole like little mix and it's a nice way to add this bronzy illumination to the skin on days when you don't want to do like a full face of makeup which um i'm still gonna do today but we're gonna see what this looks like but i need i need to go i need to go get my cream excuse me okay we're gonna keep it super simple today we're just gonna use like a niacinamide type thing not niacinamide hyaluronic acid <laughs> one or the other this is l'oreal's revitalift they're, they're like water cream. It's very nice, I've used a lot. But to my knowledge, this doesn't have any like shimmer or anything in it to begin with. So it'll be a good test. So cute. Light reflecting pigments to revive dull skin without being sparkly or glittery. Love this for me. Okay, so first I just wanna put a drop on and just see what it looks like. Just a wee little drop. So I wanna see like, what are we talking here? Okay, it looks wet on my skin is the best way I can describe this. Like you really can't see any sort of, I don't know, gold or shimmer or anything. It just looks wet. Huh, okay, I'm intrigued. I also tried the, I think it was the Armani luminous serum thing and that was just straight up glitter and I did not like that at all. So this is exciting. This is what it looks like. It's like dry now. See what I mean? Like there's a little bit of shimmer there, a little sheen. Okay, I'm gonna put some cream on my hand. How many drops am I supposed to put in? Add a drop or more. World's my oyster. Boop. Okay, now I'm gonna mix it together and you tell me if my skin looks dewy. It's gonna look more dewy because I just put cream on. I mean, I do see that sort of like um, wet look kind of healthy vibe so far. I'll let you know when it's dried down, then we can like really assess it. But while that dries, let's go on to another product and that's mascara. I used to use this brand of mascara so often. It's, I haven't in a long time actually. Whoa, it has so many five star reviews. Like. It's almost entirely all stars on Sephora's website. Whoa. 96% recommendation, 4.7 stars out of five. And like two, th like almost 3,000 reviews. That's a lot. I didn't even tell you what it is. It's Benefit and it's their Fan Fest mascara. I've seen a lot of ads around this mascara and so I thought it'd be really interesting to test it out for myself because you know me, I am a mascara girly. I wanna be a lashes girly, but I'm not. I'm a mascara girly. You gotta pick a lane. So this mascara, it is a fanning volumizing mascara that's going to fan out lashes side to side and amplify volume. The side to side thing is very interesting to me. I wonder if there's a technique that they talk about that I should be doing. Gently wiggle wand from base to tip of lash. Okay then, let's zoom in here a little bit. Hi, okay, that's better. Let's start by curling the lashes, which I already curled and they have fallen. And now let's try it in hyper black. I always like that for black mascara, they gotta go all out in naming it. It can't be just black. It has to be black as black, unreal black, like gigantic, like they're just looking for ways to really hone in on the fact that this is gonna be a black mascara, the blackest mascara you've ever seen. Got the little baby one. I'll try it first, you know? Wiggle back and forth and up. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Interestingly, the formula itself is very stiff. It doesn't feel very, um, liquidy like a lot of other mascaras you kind of pile it on and then you kind of finesse it with the brush to move it around i don't feel like i'm doing that here and the wand itself is quite stiff oh it dries fast did you see how long it, my, <laughs> it was stuck there yikes okay so that is one coat let's do another one 
Okay, so that is two coats. Honestly, like I really like that. That was a very easy mascara. You know when sometimes you, you find a mascara and you really like it, but it's, she's difficult. She requires some finessing to make look good. And this one, you don't have to do that. It was very straightforward, apply it, and you're done. I didn't really have to, you know, move clumps around or trying to shuffle things around so that I felt like my lashes look good and they were getting clumpy. Is it my most dramatic lash? No, but I think that they did a really good job with the formula and it feels nice. Let's do the other side. The question is, do they look fanned out? Let me know in the comments. Is that fanned out? Also, ooh, actually, you know what? I have a question. What are some makeup products that you have seen floating around the internet recently where you're like, I want to know like what's up with that? Sometimes you guys see things that I don't see, or sometimes we have the same, you know, for you page and we're all seeing the same product. And I want to be buying products that, you know, everyone's really interested in. Okay. I'm going to let that dry a little bit, do a little recurl, you know, so far though, I do like that. Oh, and my skin has dried down what do we think in terms of like glowiness because they promise glow without any sparkle like i would say it is very much on the subtle side now again i only used uh one big drop so maybe i needed more to get like a really glowy effect because you, you gotta walk the line i mean if you go too far into glow then you just look sweaty and we're not looking for sweat want glow however i do see it on my skin and it's not in a like like a glittery way. I don't know, can you see it? Let me know what you think. What happens if I put a little bit in, <laughs> a little bit in with my primer? I'm gonna do two drops, That's right? Three in total. If I don't do it, who will? All right, now I'm gonna put on a little foundation and some bronzer. Okay, I haven't set it yet, but I want to show you kind of what it looks like while I'm applying some bronzer. So obviously I have foundation on top, but I feel like you can still see that glow kind of peeking through. So I'm gonna say two drops, not just one. And I will be using that again, especially with the bronzy. I think the two of them, is it's gonna be dynamite. And it's not glittery at all. I didn't notice anything. And now we can go on to a blush product that I've seen everyone use in their Get Ready With Me's. And it's a new product from the brand Summer Fridays and it's like a blush stick. You've probably seen this as well. This guy, I got the shade Dusty Rose, which I thought just looked really, really pretty. It's a blush balm stick and you're supposed to just apply it to your lips, to your cheeks, wherever you wanna add like a little dust of color. Hold on, is this? No, this isn't mold, is it? What? I've never seen anything grow in a line like this. So maybe it just was cut weird. You guys see that line? That's not mold, is it? It just, it's kind of dotted. Can you just wipe it off? I'm gonna open up to the floor downstairs, see what they say, hang on. All right, canvas the masses downstairs, which turns out all of the ladies were there. So I asked Caroline Dibbs and Lo what they thought it was. And they're like, oh, it must be like a line because mold doesn't grow in a line, which is what I said. But it looks so mold specific. So they're like, check the lid to see if there's like a, like a seam. There is no seam inside of the lid. So it must be from the machine or something. It's just, it's sketching me out. So I'm just, I'm gonna wipe it off. Can't wait for the comments of everyone being like, oh, that's mold, you shouldn't have put that on your face. And then I can panic about that. I'm just gonna wipe that off. Anyway, let's um now apply this. Ooh, she's very, uh, very soft. Like as in, it doesn't uh, make a huge impact upon if you're just applying it like this. Still very pretty though. Look at that shade. I really like that color. I really hope that wasn't mold. I'm gonna be really sad. Oh my gosh, that's so flattering. Listen, I have a thousand and one blushes. I don't need more blush, but maybe I do. Cause this one is so pretty. What is this formula? It feels watery, not creamy. Look at that color though. Oh, so pretty. I love it. We'll see what this looks like by the end of the day. Don't worry though, we're not done. We have so much more to go through. Okay, what about on the lips? I think it's fine. It's nothing to like be excited about. Oh right, I forgot that this is like maybe mold. <laughs> it's a little gloss situation. This is such a pretty one, by the way. This is 
Smirk, the lip oil from ColourPop. Such a pretty shade, so pretty. Okay, now let's go on to a, like a shower product. And I remember when this brand sort of started out and it being like a big viral sensation and they have expanded so much. I've never tried any of their stuff before and it's Charmed Aroma. They started out as candles and their whole premise is that they have a piece of jewelry kind of hidden in the bottom of the candle. So as you burn it, then you get this like really pretty piece of jewelry. And I think at the time, I think they still do this, but some of the pieces, a few of the pieces are actually worth a significant amount of money. So it's kind of like a fun, like, will you get something that's like uber expensive or are you just gonna get like a fun fashion jewelry piece? They have since then expanded into, like I said, like bath products, shower products, like a bunch of different stuff. So I figured instead of burning a candle forever, I would do a bunch of the bath stuff and they have like different themes for jewelry too, which I think is really cool. And you can kind of see all the different options that you might get which is good for me because then I know expectation wise like what I to kind of expect going into it so the first one this is strawberry lemonade this is their whipped soap and they have this is part of um, the ring collection and they have the size at the bottom so you order like the specific size that you want the ring to be which I think is just super smart this is a lathering whipped soap perfect for the bath or shower for like a full body wash so I want to smell it now I want to smell it now <laughs> in bold at the bottom for adult external use only. Don't eat this. I know you want to eat it. Don't do it. I wanna know what this smells like so bad. I love lemonade. If you don't know that about me, it's like other than water and coffee, I drink lemonade. Okay. It's lemony, it's sweet. It's not like a complex scent profile or anything, but like it's nice. It's got that like citrusiness to it. I'm into that. So we will test that in the shower. And with it, we will also be testing the other product I got, which is a um, one of the bath bombs. This is their like moon one, which is really cute. And it has a necklace in it. And so I got it and I was like, maybe Julia will want the necklace. Cause I, I saw all the different pretty moon patterns. I thought she'd really like it. So I want to smell it. I can't tell what that, it smells a little bit creamy. It's not giving me that like pow in your face vin, uh, uh, lavender scent. Soft lavender, citrus, and gentle musk. I must be smelling the musk. I don't smell any lavender right now. So we'll see when I actually take these products in the shower and bath. Okay, update on the Charmed Aroma. So it smells really lemony. It has this nice, really nice thick consistency that I like that feels very hydrating afterwards. However, if you have any semblance of self-tanner on you, I don't know what happened, but I applied it and I was like, ooh, this is really nice. And then I was drying off pills. Pills of, of self-tanner was just coming off of my body. And so I had to re-scrub and then dry off again. And like all my self-tanner was gone. I don't know, but like just if you use self-tanner, this might not be for you. However, I was using some because I don't have self-tanner right now on my legs. I tend not to. Fall, winter, even spring really. And so I was scooping some out and then I hit the little spot where the um, little jewel thing is. So I got it out. It looks like this. Obviously it's all covered in the stuff, but like let's take it out. It's in this little container here and inside it's a little ring. Ta-da! Let's see, does it fit? Ooh, ah, so fancy. So I would say it is true to size if you are looking to, to get one, but like it's that sparkly. Not really my style, I would say, for, for rings personally. But yeah, now you know what it looks like if you're gonna get one for yourself. And now into two brands that are among the most sponsored brands that I have seen out of all of these. And I have never tried either of them. So this is gonna be very interesting. Number one is White Fox. This is a clothing brand. They have a ton of different like very trending kind of clothes. They tend to skew a little bit more like clubbing vibe from what I can see anyway. So typically not my thing. However, I saw this one dress on a girl on TikTok and I saw it and it was like, it just, it looked so fun. And so I wanted to try it on because I want to know if it's actually as fun as it looks. So we're going to try that because obviously like the dresses are kind of what they're known for. <laughs> oh my gosh, I saw it. I'm so excited. <laughs> It's so fun. Oh my gosh, if I was going to Taylor's Era's tour, this would be it, this is the one. So I will save that one because I think that one's gonna be so much fun. First, I wanna do, I did um, some jewelry, which I thought were really cute. And I've seen a lot of people like bringing back the whole 
uh, this whole trend with the bows. Do you remember bow earrings? That was a thing. But I thought these were really pretty and dainty and fun. You can't tell me those aren't adorable. It's very high up, so I wanna know if this is gonna look weird. Oh, come on, that's adorable. Those are so cute, okay. And then the other thing I got was a t-shirt that I saw and I was like, ooh, this could be a fun, like a fun color kind of thing. I don't know, I'm gonna have to try this one on. I don't love it though. It was like part of a set and I feel like it's one of those things that looks a lot better on camera than it does in person. First of all, it's that sort of slippery, <laughs> I'm really good with fabrics. Stretchy, like athletic wear, and it's not the same on the inside. You, you get the vibe of this. So we'll try this one on. Here's the shirt. I just don't know where or how I would how I would even get away with wearing this. I don't know what it is about it, but something about it feels off. <laughs> Going for a bike ride? Christopher! Have you felt the material? Rue de France. That's exactly what it is. I need a matching bike short. Yeah. And I would absolutely, this would crush in the tournaments. Yeah. Tournaments? Ride? Tour. Tour. That's what I was looking for. Tour. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's, um... In the Peloton. <laughs> it's, uh, no. That's in this, uh, no. Maybe it needs to be in its, like, set form to, like, really get the full image, the visual. But no, this isn't cute at all, and I really don't like it. But now onto the, onto the dress, which is just, again, it's just fun. Oh my gosh, do you love it? How fun is that? Oh my gosh, I hope this fits. Okay, let's try this on. Look how shiny it is. Okay, I know it's not the most practical, but let me have this one. First of all, the light capturing 10 out of 10. Also worth noting, very stretchy. Overall, very comfortable dress. I would probably size down myself personally, but this is like such a fun dress. Era's tour, New Year's, fun night out. This is fun. Okay, I texted the girls downstairs. I don't know who can come up right now because we have all the minis here, but like, we'll see what everyone else thinks of this dress. I will say the one thing is that it's like, do you see this on the side here? It is like puckering a little bit. So I think the stitching's a little bit off there, but overall, such a fun dress and so actually comfortable. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you wish my reaction was on film. <laughs> Vibe I was expecting on. I'm not mad at it at all. <laughs> Girl, it's a Tuesday afternoon. It's, it's so sparkly. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yes. I saw. Like I want to take you to a discotheque. <laughs> I know, right? Very fun. Very fun. See, this is what I'm saying. It's a fun dress. You, what is it for? You look like Barbie. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> but like, look, it's nice. It's stretchy. It's comfo on the inside. Oh, I would have I would have lost all the money in my wallet betting against that being comfortable. Well, like listen, if you're walking like kind of <laughs> yeah, like a yeah, robot, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna cut you. Yeah. You're gonna be cut up real good on the inside yeah. here. But however, stretchy and comfy on the inside. So here's the thing. Um, I'm going to the Eras tour. <laughs> Got my tickets. But I feel like this is very mirror ball. Like I would wear this and then it would be like a mirror baby. Yeah. Can you imagine the pictures in this? Okay, so actually I wonder, I'm gonna. <laughs> snap, snap. That's the one. You're welcome. <laughs> um, no, but the reflection is really pretty. You know how like, saucy. Because sometimes it can look like cheap, you know? It's a picture of a picture. Very meta, but I know I. Well, <laughs> okay, the really smart part about this all is that I was trying to show a, of how it shows up on camera to a camera. <laughs> <laughs> the camera will know. <laughs> I can edit that. It's out, right? <laughs> Fine. This is great. You look this great. Okay, also, here's the thing. Sometimes I feel like these baddie dresses are really short. Yeah, my bum yeah. is fully covered. This is a win. Thank you so much, ladies. Love I just it. wanted to show it off. Although, you know, <laughs> with one win comes a fail. <laughs> I'm just showing you this. <laughs> because uh, this one I did show low. Look at this. I know. You don't have to fail. No, no, there's no grand reveal. No. Okay, you know what? You know what your oh. brother said? <laughs> he said, are you going biking? <laughs> I actually, at first glance, didn't hate it, but it's like a little bit like chestular and like that shiny sort of like, if this was matching with the with the bike shorts. No, I actually think that's cool. Like I'm kind of into that like Night at the Roxbury 90s vibe, <laughs> but I don't like the- Outlining of, of the- Yeah, it looks like it's- Trying to outline. Trying to outline the chest and the abs. I'm sure that's, that's exactly what they're doing. Yeah. That, that would seem yeah, like on a brand, it but looks, like... It looks like <laughs> actually, a, it does. It looks like, like a heat it map up. of your Hello. organs. <laughs> it is a heat map. That's exactly what this is. Just, yeah. just, just leave that somewhere. Just, you know, just leave it out on the ground. Just someone will take it. If it happens, it happens. <laughs> it's gorgeous. The, the whole footage will be 
be me just staring at you, not even listening to you, just staring at your dress. The pregnant community approves. <laughs> we love. Actually, you know what? While I have you here in my disco outfit, I'll talk about the next product. And this is the brand Ruggable. And I know you've seen all of the ads for Ruggable. And if you haven't, I'm gonna catch you up. So basically Ruggable takes any size for the most part of rug and they make it so that you can machine wash every single one of them. So it's really easy in terms of maintenance, easy clean, great if you have pets or kids running around the house, or if you're just messy like myself. So I decided to buy one. We can see how comfortable it is, how well it wears, but also I wanna see how well it washes. Obviously that's the big selling feature of this. The one that I got, hang on, got the, under, under pad thing. That's what it's going to stick to. They just, they just folded it up in here. I thought it would be, you know, neatly rolled. Nope, just stuffed in there. But I thought the pattern was really pretty, so I'm kind of excited. I haven't seen it yet. Pull up. That's what it looks like. How freaking pretty is that? I really like the pattern on here. I think that that's really nice, but obviously, like you can see, I don't know if you can see this, it is way far thin, which is obviously the point because you want to be able to wash this. What I want to see is does it look thin once you put the under pad? Like, does it feel? And actually, you know, that now that I'm seeing it, I'll show you guys. But I have a little rug very similar to this one that's an actual, like a rug, not a ruggable rug. So we can see kind of compare and contrast in how they look. Oh, this would be interesting. Okay, hold on. We're gonna change and change location. We are now on the floor. Let's do this. So this is the thing that it sticks to. So it's almost like really rough side of Velcro. And then I guess they want you to put it into the corner. By the way, I cannot imagine doing this on a giant rug. No, that can't be right. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up and make sure. This by the way is the Verena dark wood rug. Reattach it back to the pad. Awesome, that's helpful. And their video to see how it works, the link is broken. Awesome. I must be overcomplicating it. Like it, it's gotta be totally fine here. All of their rugs are low pile, lightweight, interchangeable with the same size ruggable rug pad, fits in a regular size washing machine. But uh, no other information on how to put it down. So guess we'll just go with my theory. Is that right? Why is it, ugh, why does it look so wrinkled? I got the two corners. I think that's what you have to do first is you gotta get these two corners done and then go through the, the rest of the rug. Okay, I think I figured it out. Oh, touch and go there for a second. So you can see here it is starting to lift and I think it's probably because the rug pad underneath needs time to like, you know, unwind and lay flat for a bit. So I won't dock the marks for that yet. Can you hear that? I kind of feel like I'm walking on Velcro. Oh, let's also compare it to the other rug. It's very similar to this rug. Can you tell I have a type? So you can see this one feels a lot thicker and softer. And if you look at it on the side, like it definitely does. Like this one is very like, very low pile because again, you have to be able to put this into the washing machine. Let's look from like a top down approach now. Okay, top down, they feel very different. This feels cushy, this one doesn't. And again, it just, it sounds like Velcro. I suppose I can see this having value in like a, like a kitchen capacity where you are dropping food and things all the time and you just need to wash it, but you want the look of the rug in the kitchen. I can I can understand that. To me, unless like messes are a big thing in your house and you wanna be washing your rug all the time, this to me doesn't replace a rug. And it doesn't matter if there's like a cushion underneath or something like this, it's just the feel of it. I'm not a big fan of compared to like a more traditional carpet. And I feel like it would be a big pain the bigger you go with these to get it back together without it wrinkling as it sort of attaches to the Velcro. Like this is a multi-person job every time you want to clean it. However, in high traffic places, in like a spot, like again, in the kitchen or in the bathroom or something where you just kind of want the look and effect, but without the hassle of having an actual rug because that would be such a big pain, I can see the value here. But obviously we'll see what happens when we wash it. By the way, do you love that I have a bunch of uh, random perfumes here? I found a whole bunch of my perfumes and now I'm going through them like one by one, deciding if I like them or not. Sometimes I just keep them and I'm like, ooh, pretty, and then I don't wear them. So this is me trying to cull them. Anyway, let's go and uh, give this a wash. Okay, ruggable update. I think I judged it too quickly, guys, because this looks so cute in my bathroom. I wanna get another one and put it on this side, because like, 
It just, it matches so well. It is certainly not squishy and I would not get one in a larger size if I'm honest, but like for a little, I don't know, rug in the bathroom or in a kitchen or any high traffic area. It's really cute. Now I haven't washed it yet, so I'm gonna go do that now and then we'll see what it looks like when I take it out and try and reset it up. But this is what it looks like now. Hoping that someone's gonna after I wash it. Hang on. Oh my gosh, so I did exactly what it told me to do. I did cold, I did gentle, I did it on its own. Look at this. What is happening? I've never seen this before. What did it do to my washing machine? Like I'm obviously just gonna do a rinse. I didn't do anything different. I didn't add more soap. Mine automatically dispenses. This is super weird. I don't know if there was something like in it or something. Weird. All right, well, I'll rinse it and hope for the best. But um, I guess watch that or let me know if I did something I shouldn't have. Okay, I did a rinse cycle. It seems to be fine now. In terms of how it looks after wash, like it looks fine to me. I'm trying to see if there's any like pilling or anything like that. I'm not noticing anything so far. We'll see how it dries, but um, so far so good. And honestly, I really like the look of it. I think I'm gonna get a second one for um, in our bathroom because I think these are really nice for that. Now also I do have some makeup on here today so I will do a full wear test. We will see what this is looking like by the end of the day, what the glow factor is, if the blush holds up, the mascara, all of that. So I will see you guys tonight. Hello, it's tonight. This is what the makeup's looking like. I think honestly it's held up really well. Blush is still blushing. I really like that. <laughs> Keep me posted on the whole line thing. And the mascara, I honestly, I forgot to curl my lashes again, and they have not really fallen past this point, which is, this is big for them. This is a big day. So I will be using that one again and probably finishing that entire small container because I thought that was a good mascara. The glow, I mean, like I can't really see it right now, but it is more of a product that I'm either going to mix in with my foundation, if I'm doing like a really light foundation, or I'm just gonna mix it with the bronzy and like, that's it. You know what I mean? Like just like a good, no makeup makeup kind of thing. And I did love that it wasn't glittery, so like I will continue to use that. But let me know if there are any other products that you have seen floating around the whole like overly sponsored world that we should try out next. And make sure you check out the playlist for all of the different products that we've tried. If you put it down below, be sure to check out the playlist first because I am sure that I've already done it. In many cases, I have done, I've done so many of these. As always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you guys all in the next one.